Don't hold, don't hold. Don't fucking hold. Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, guys, I'm not even live chat, guys. I've been just waiting for my restaurant to open in the last, like, 30 minutes. Like, an hour. Cause I'm hungry, but I don't wanna eat garbage. I wanna eat my garbage, you know? Cause I wanna eat my favorite garbage. Do you know? Guys, yesterday I had firehouse subs, and you know what? It was disgusting. Why are the subs hot? I get an, I got an Italian and it was hot. Like the meat was hot. This shit is fucking nothing to me. This is shit is fucking nothing. It's nothing. This shit is absolutely nothing to me. Triple gold and one and a half runs. One half runs and I get three golds. Only an absolute gaming titan user feral lord. I can't do that. Only fourth place has it. I'll, I'll have to be in my snipers. Not a gimmick, not a gimmick, please, not a fucking gimmick. Yeah. Ah, this is a gimmick. It's a fucking gimmick, dude. You can ask for the sub to be not hot. It was not on the app. I couldn't see that. Easy. Wait, you have to get there in time. 
Oh my god! Oh, damn, the final. Yeah, I win this. I'm too good at this. I'm looking unbeatable at this. Guys, I, I'm actually unbeatable at this. And especially with 11, you can you can just cheese it super hard. I have a, uh, what we call it, unleaded brain. It's, a, it's an extremely superior advantage. Wait, what? I'm going through some shitty time 18 and really glad yo dot you are streaming with you I can escape from reality at least a little bit execute the The, the thing is that the guy who won the game is actually the guy who played the worst, which is just so fucking lame. Because every top player was all on the same side of the map. Literally. All the good players were all backside. So it's fucking dumb. That is so fucking lame though. Mm, at least we're gonna we can get boys. Time is it? 10.34? Please be open, please be open, please be open. Don't be weird. Dude, what? Whoa. Open at 11! Guys, I think I'm open. I guess, what if I open my own franchise? You think, I'd be, you think, you think it would make my money or not? I'm West Coast, I'm West Coast, Andy, yeah. These days, yeah. I, did, I, I think I'm gonna make it the next the, the, the next big thing to do one thing cool like like buy a legitimate operation somewhere that'd be nice no what it's a waste thinking 
I'm right there first, you're not wrong. I think we're in a restaurant called Toenail Taken. The fuck would you sell a turd a mass franchise? If you hold me up, you're gonna get smoked on. I'm, I wanna fucking lose my shit. One of these games may be good to play for you. Link. Toenail takeout. Ooh, shit. Shit. Get this on again. I think it's a, it's a mix-up. Oh, uh, this one. This one's a jammer. Nah, I I think rest restoration is like one of the worst things to get into for sure. Unless like you're very you're very passionate and you know what you're doing, it, and you've done it and you know your. I think restoration is like super fucking hardcore as a business to run and make it profitable. Especially in like competitive markets, I would assume. And I was in the margins, but he's so fucking thin, it must be a disaster. No? It's not that thin? X, do you listen to Tyler the Creator? That's the fruit. Uh, B3, C1. Oh my golly gee! Is it going to open up a burger shot in real life? No way! Stop holding, you fucking cuck! Um, C4, R2, D1. Do I have to count them or not? I don't get it. I don't get it. What did you do there? You should collab with Mr. Beast to open the establishment pockets. I don't get it! Two years pop pop bogu. A true pocket falls. The screen's a question mark, did it not? Oh, R2. So that, oh, that was, I, it wanted, it wanted two? Okay, that's my last game, last game. At this I'm playing a whole fast for a minute until my food game opens up. Okay, what if you, what if you could do, if you, what if, what, what if you could open one business, what would it be? Clothing, restoration, uh, retail, car, garage, fucking repair, fucking gym. NFT, mechanic, dog grooming, arcade. Content creation, that's a disaster. Uh, software. IT consultant, construction, cafe, sex shop. Sex shops do pretty decent, actually. The, the, the thing is with sex shops is that I think if people are shy to go in and actually buy stuff, so they just they just buy uh, online instead, which I think why is it, why they're not that great. When in fact they're pretty they're pretty neat. Uh, the shops. And the people that, that, that work in them, they're pretty fucking knowledgeable. Way more knowledgeable than you would do it fucking you. I don't know. Hey, XUC, are you gonna play? We were here for her when it drops. They know their shit. They, they, they know their shit.
That's what I know, because I'm the fucking lord. Please let me in, please let me in, please let me in, let me in. Let me in. Oh my god! I almost punched a fucking piece of plastic! I almost punched a fucking piece of plastic, man. Oh my god, I'm in. Because I'm the juice warlord. Okay, and what else? Waffle? Shut up. You shut up, man. Open a juicing franchise. The, 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 the thing is, though, is that what do people... What is, in, what is not being replaced by online and is what will never be replaced by online stuff uh, that you would, you would open? I think it's like kind of hard, though. I feel like most stuff is kind of like going away to like uh, being like um, automated or being online overall. I just, yeah, gems, really. Yeah. Hair, gym, cafes, yeah. Restaurants, sure, but like, I, I, I don't know. I would not want to get the restoration. I think it's like a disaster. Maybe I watch the wrong shows, but everything I hear from people that own restaurants or whatever is like a fucking nightmare story, literally. You piece of garbage. Dare get over me. Got it. Oh, uh, what else? It has been way too long since we've assembled. We are losing um, focus. Um, self checkout. Where are all my pot friends? We must yeah, rise that work. from the ashes and show our strength. I summon all pot friends to rise. Gas rise, station, my sure. Friends, rise. Um, grocery store? Yeah. A bowling alley? I don't, dude, I think a bowling alley, karaoke, these are like great like date spots, dude. Like, for a first date, dude, forget fucking restaurant and cinema, dude. Those are, those are you know, they're standard and kind of boring. Go to fucking bowling alley, dude. Fuck yeah, man. Bowling alley, arcade, um... Karaoke, definitely. Uh, mini golf isn't, isn't bad at all. It's a, it's a little cliche, but it can be kind of fun. Especially if you're like with a couple friends, just chilling. Not too many though. The aquarium sounds fun. Yeah, fuck yeah. I love the aquarium. That's not, that, that, I think that's where I took like your mom the first time. Bitch. Sorry, I don't know what I came from. <laughs> I don't have to red snow, sorry. Go karting, but you can't really talk though. Like, I feel like if you're going on a, if you're, if you're going on a date and you want it to be fun or whatever, it has to be fun. But it also needs to be kind of interactive and enough to place to talk and interact. Um, go karts like you don't talk very much if you're driving and whatnot, you know. In between races, sure, yeah. Escape room? 
Okay, so the point, if on the first date, would be to create a relationship and not break a possible one. Escape room? Dude, I'm like the only person that's gonna go on the escape room and he literally yell at you. And get mad at you. I will, I will literally yell at you until one of us is crying. It's the wrong key, you fucker! It's the wrong key! The triangle! Are you okay? Are you- are you acting? The triangle, you fucking moron! That's gonna how it is. Shit, man. Aw, uh, fuck this game, dude. I would say me had like a, a more like interactive uh, escape rooms. Uh, what, one of the Twitch staff here called Pluto. He's like the most nerd you'll ever find for uh, escape rooms. He's done all of them. He does research. He like talks to fucking owners of them. Like he do like does like tours. He's seen everyone that possibly exists out there. I'm not kidding. So he brought me. He brought us to like some some like advanced interactive like horror escape rooms. What they like? They have like a, a killer in the fucking uh, the room that comes with a chainsaw and pulls your fucking leg and your arm and shit. It's kind of crazy. I give up. This game is dog shit. Please stop it at the end. Please stop. Let me qualify you, fucker. Stream F. Uh, yeah, you're right. We're actually going- we're, we're going red right now. Uh, I'll turn the slow down on the thing. Uh, uh... I didn't say Okay, Pluto. Pluto? Aw, oh, fuck, I should, I should talk to a staff. What a fucking rookie mistake. Uh, he's uploading photos. He, should, he says it'll take a minute, but uh, we're back now. Oh my god, thirty-five thousand. Which chat say smork? Oh, uh, that's four seconds. Fuck it. Reset, reset. Chat in my face. That's two seconds, we're chilling. Yeah, Pluto, I was not I was not telling them about your escape room knowledge and nerdiness. I'm gonna be honest, I'm pretty good at at, at um I'm pretty good at escape rooms, and I think at being logical and finding something on the fly. I'm gonna be honest. If I if I do a room and I don't like I don't finish it, the room is just My bad. Rooms are so much better, clearly, because of the price. The room is just bad. It's just a, it's just a poor designed room. It's just it's just not a good one. Paint nights are fun, but I wouldn't know cause I get no hose. Oh yeah, a uh, paint night, pottery, um, pot painting could be a good. That's that is definitely a good date. Bring your date on a fucking pot painting. That is that's not mid. That's a fucking big W. 
you paint the pot, right? And then they put it in the oven and it cooks and it settles. And, and, then, and then you come back and you pick it up later on. It's dead, it's busting. My mom used to do that with us. And me and my brother would get uh, Pikachus and, and whatnot at the, at the shop. And um, we made the most horrific, like nightmare fueling creatures, man. We had a Pikachu, a piggy bank, and it had like green eyes that are running down its face like the fucking, like, uh, like the Joker. Uh, I think I was too young to do it at first, the painting. So when I was a kid, I, I got all the brushes and I just go... So I got pots. Um, I, had, I had a couch. It's a small couch, it's in ceramic. And you could pull the, 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 um, the cushion up the top. You could remove it. And it was a piggy bank. You could put stuff in it. And uh, it was mostly blue, yellow, red. And it was just a, it's just a fucking... It's just a doodle, dude. Like, you can't see shit. It, 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 it's not, it, it, there's no unison, it's just a disaster. It's art though. It's an NFT. Actually, it's on sale right now. You could go buy right now. I uploaded it yesterday. It's real NFT. It's real. Yes, yeah, ceramic cafe, yeah, there you go. That's what it is. Those are, those are kind of dank. I think they're very relaxing and they can be kind of therapeutic, I think. Check emails and DMs. Who said that? Guys, what, guys, what is this? What is this? Oh my god, I'm so bad. Oh my god! Pot? Yeah, yeah, it's an orange. My sleep study? Yeah, my sleep study is done. Dude, I'm telling you, dude, the guy that did my sleep study was super chill. Dude, listen. You know you had a fucking sleep study place when um, it's fucking midnight, one in the morning, okay? And the guy, like the technician, is like boosted on fucking like... Like, uh, he's like fucking juiced up the wazoo, man. Holy shit. Man was fucking buzzing. Christ, man. Because they, they, they sleep well. Man. Did it help? I mean, he, 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 sent, he sent the result to the doctor. So it'll take a couple days. I think it's been like two days now, four days. I'm gonna get the result like tomorrow or something, I think. Because they have to get they have to get it interpreted. They, they need to interpret the, the data. But um, the guy was like almost ecstatic to um, look at me sleep. He says that most patients that go there are like kind of boring because they just have sleep problems or whatever. But mine is like really bad. You know? And um, he was like, he was like really, really happy at the end or whatever, because like you know, it was it was an eventful night, for, you know. Just kind of chill. It was kind of a bad thing, but you know. But he, since he's only, he's only a technician and not an interpreter or a doctor, he's not allowed to tell me like what it was, you know. Said that already last time, but yeah. It's illegal. Hello. 
Well, like it is. I don't know. I think it's really bad, though. Like, the thing with the apnea, though, is that it can be like almost like anything. You know, there's a lot of things that can cause the apnea. So I don't know what it what it is. They'll have to figure it out, I guess. I guess it could be as simple as like your wisdom teeth or some shit, right? The way you position your mouth or whatever, the way you position your the way you do things. What if it's mental though? How do you fix that? It's the fucking lead, isn't it? They watch you sleep. Yeah, they have a, they have a, a, a infrared. Um, they have like an infrared camera, like directly in front. Um, you, get, you have four sensors and uh, two in each nostril uh, that check for nose movement and I think and air. If the air is being pushed or whatever. And then you have like 20 sensors on the brain and you have a full uh, EEG. Uh, so like a full heart thing, like uh, and the legs, the arms, the fucking, the chest, the whole thing. EKG. That was fun. I don't give a shit. Honestly, even if I didn't have a problem, I, I I would probably end up doing one just for fun. I don't know. It's it's it was kind of fun. I don't give a shit. It's an experience, you know? It's an experience, you know? Last place? Nah, doesn't matter. That's first place. What happens? Nothing. You're just gonna sleep. But I wake up in my sleep. I wake up in like, uh, in like rushes for no reason. Like, um, like fucking like five times a night or whatever. I wake up out of the booth for no fucking reason. Like, uh, fucking like, uh, like I'm like sparked like crazy. So I gave him a, I, I gave him a good, uh, a, a good juicer. I think I woke up like, I think four times in the, like the five or six hours I slept, the, I slept over there. So I definitely gave him a good juicer for real. He got the, he, he got to see the whole thing. Yeah. Got some content for real, for real. Thanks for all the good times, excuse Wait, what? Okay, I'm yeah, I'm I'm, I'm done. Fuck this game. Fuck this garbage ass piece of shit game. Holy shit, guys! I guess I'll play one lobby of old fast, one lobby of old fast, and then I'll eat some food, and then we'll go full juice again. Because I'm playing one whole fast lobby. Okay, so I, uh, while food comes in, then 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 small chill with food and then full juicer. 